What is up, PF Youth? This is me, Christian, and um, we are here in the new month. So, um, the topic for this month, I think, is uh, taboo. And apparently, for this week, is uh, lying. So, um, as the game master, I came up with a set of. I, I came up with a game where it suits this week's. Uh, this fuel nice topic. And which is the infamous two truths and a lie. So um, I gathered some. Uh, yeah, they're, they're here. Um, yeah. So apparently last week, Sai was complaining about how the only thing he had was paper, <laughs> where um, budget was cut. So for this week, I'm cutting my own budget. Da. So, apparently, it has become a theme for this month. Apparently, because um, a lot of you guys, a lot of students today are on vacation. And, you know, I know, of course, in the Philippines, it's not hot. <laughs> it's very cold. Even just last month, we had a, like, a monsoon. But, you know, there's nothing wrong about getting wet because, you know, sometimes it gets hot. So, today, I got a bunch of budget papers. <laughs> no offense, I. Um, yeah, so I, I asked a bunch of people uh, about uh, to write uh, two truths about themselves and a lie, and I actually don't know if I can read them, but I will try. And you know, I wonder if they'll get back at me because apparently I was the ones doing it to Sai last week. So um, for the first one. I can already understand this handwriting. I sleep all day. I love sweaters more than hoodies. I keep... What? I don't... I keep... Skipping this. Hey, hey, hey! We're skipping it because... <laughs> All right, I deserve that. Um, <laughs> so, math is my strongest subject. I like acidic food and I enjoy science. Apparently this is hard because I know someone who does actually all three. The thing is that, if this is Jared or Seki, I feel like, all right, I, I think they're, they're here, all right? Tell me if I'm wrong, all right? so. I'm gonna say the lie is acidic food. Hello? Is it acidic food? Is it acidic food? Who, who wrote math? Oh no. Oh no. Right, wait, wait to ruin a new hoodie, alright? Um. Gosh, I'm sorry. I like Jollibee more than McDonald's. Wow, how dare you. I like Telecasters more than Strats. Wait! I like Itzy over Black Thing. So this is Sai. Um... That is Itzy. <laughs> okay, obviously, I think if... if I think the truth here is that Sai like telecasters. <laughs> oh, wait, are you being ch oh, wait. I like strats more. I like strats very much. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry like last month. How do you Wait, this is not my question. What the heck? That's from two weeks ago. <laughs> How did he get messed up here in the budget cut? I I joined a cheer dancing competition. I once pulled up two dates at a time. Wow. This is this is nuts. I like Tracy Flowers. This is Vishars. Has she been to a cheer dancing competition? 
I was fooled up two dates at the at the time. Dang. I know she likes flowers because she just talked about flowers a while ago. Um, I feel like the liars. I joined the cheer dancing competition. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I like not getting anything right. <laughs> oh my gosh! She joined. Jo wow, it's crazy. Well, apparently, uh, so this is Seki's handwriting. I sleep all day. Apparently, he's not here. I love sweaters more than hoodies. I keep even. I think. I think I sleep all day is a lie. Yeah, because I know Seki doesn't sleep all day because he's either busy um, trying to get girls or exercising. So apparently, I did not win. What? So, um, <laughs> so for those who just joined, the game is called Two Truths and a Lie, and apparently I win three out of four. So apparently I am very, very bad at under knowing people lie. <laughs> so, um, I'm soaking wet and my hoodie's ruined. So, um, yeah, thank you <laughs> for um, staying tuned for my segment. Um, uh, we are now going to be um, accompanied by the music team, which is probably from an interdimensional version of us, probably from the 16th gener uh, dimension where everyone had old clothes. Maybe. I don't know. So, um, yeah, music team, take over. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Youth tonight. It's so blessed. We're so blessed to have you with us. Come on, if you if you if you're up for it, why don't you join us as we sing some songs for God? Come on. One, two, three, oh. Come on, we sing. Waking up knowing there's a reason. All my dreams come alive. Life is for living with you. I've made my decision. Hey, you lift me up, fill my eyes with wonder. For every young in your love, this freedom's untainted. With you, the moment is wasted. Come on, see the sun now bursting through the clouds, black and white. Turn to color all around, all is new in the Savior I have found. Come on, this is living now. This is living now. You see the way God, you're right beside me. In your love, I'm complete. There's nothing like living with you. This life you created, I choose. See the sun now bursting through the clouds, black and white. Turn to color all around. All in the Savior, I am found. This is living now. This is living now. You take, you take me higher than I've been before. It's your perfect love that sees me so. God, your freedom is an open door. You are everything I want and more. We sing this all together. See the sun. Oh, see the sun now bursting through the clouds, black and white. Turn the color all around. All is new in the Savior I am found. Oh, we sing this out one more time. See the sun now bursting through the clouds, black and white. Turn the color all around. All is new in the Savior I am found. This is living now. This is living now. 
This is living now. You take, you take me higher than I've been before. It's your perfect love that sees me so. God, your freedom is an open door. You are everything I want and more. Hallelujah. Praise you, God, in this place. Worship you, Lord. Just thank you, Lord God. Today, tonight, Lord God, it is our, it is our desire, Lord God, to pursue you. It is our desire, Lord God, to come before you, Lord God. How close my eyes to see my King in majesty. Your grace compels my soul to love and joy. Oh, I lift my hands and sing Surrender everything In you, I know I'm found My God, to you I bow Now until forever Jesus, I surrender. Show me what I don't know more of you. I'm desperate for your presence, longing to be with you. Lead me to a new place, more of you. Through the fire, I'll persevere. Come on. I won't submit to anything Where I go, you've been before All my trust is in you, Lord Now and to forever Jesus, I surrender Show me what I don't know Desperate for your presence, longing to be with you. Lead me to a new place, more of you. Now it's a forever. Now it's a forever. Come on. Show me what I don't know, more of you. I'm desperate for your presence. Longing to be with you, lead me to a new place, more of you.
What's up, everybody? Hey, it's you know third week, and of course we are here again. All right, we're here for POF, you know POF Youth. Of course, it's always good to be here. It's always good that you guys are here and you guys are you know ready for the word, amen. So of course we're still continuing our you know our discussions or our you know our talks about discussions. And so so it's it's very you know it's like a school atmosphere. I'm sorry about that, but let's talk about. Let's continue to talk about you know our. Uh, our talks about the taboo topics, right? So, um, I'm gonna head on with a new one, all right? And a new, um, let's see, a new topic, all right? We had envy, all right? And this will kind of step into it, all right? So, of course, we've been talking about some, you know, taboo subjects for the past couple of weeks, all right? Maybe, maybe not the first thing that comes to your mind, right? When you hear, hear the word taboo, right? But of course, you know, why would we still talk about the usual suspects when we, you know, when we talk about these things like drinking or drugs or something like that? Um, let's, you know, let's dive into, you know, the more, you know, the deeper stuff, right? So we, that's why we had, you know, talks about envy and all that stuff, right? So while those are important topics, or you know. While those are important topics to deal with, sometimes we have to address the issues that aren't so obvious. All right, there are other vices a little more than under the radar, right? That you know can creep in and you know take over our lives. And you know we have to be careful with these kinds of things, right? We've already talked about greed, okay? That you know that drive to get, 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 and get, right? And you know that can become a never-ending. Thirst for more, and we've talked about envy. Okay, the unhealthy desire to want, you know, things that belong to others. All right. So today we're talking about something called lying. All right. The messages we receive from the media, from celebrities, from politicians about lying can be confusing. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Because you know, with the media nowadays, there's it's easy to lie about something. All right. It's easy. It's very easy to lie about something. You know. You put out this fake news, and you know, maybe not ten out of ten people will believe you, but maybe three out of ten will, and that three can go into another three, and another three, and another three, right? So it just keep keeps getting bigger and bigger, right? But lying is wrong, right? Okay, no, all right, no, wait, or right. lying is okay if no one gets hurt, or wait, um. Even if someone gets hurt, right? No, okay, no, none of those, right? Lying is wrong, period, right? Not if there's no ifs, there's no oh if no one gets hurt or if someone gets hurt or you know, it's okay, right? It's okay if it protects someone, okay, right? If it protects more people, then it hurts. No, right? Or maybe it's okay if it saves, you know, if it saves people from trouble. No, okay, it's still a lie. It's still wrong, right? And okay, these attitudes, right, are nothing new, right? Nothing new. Okay, it's you know, it's it's something that has gone on from years, right? It's something that comes from years now. Have you been, all right? Humans have been lying, all right, since the Garden of Eden, all right? Okay, great people like Abraham, a great man of God, right? Lied, okay, had difficulty being an honest man, right? As we, you know, as we're about to read. Abraham did it to protect himself and those he loved. All right, excuse me. But that's a bigger, all right. That's a bigger job than any normal amount of dishonesty. All right, that's bigger than any. That's a bigger job than any amount of dishonesty. All right, can handle. All right. Um, Abraham was afraid for his life. All right, he was you know in front of the Pharaoh or Pharaoh. Sorry. Okay, sorry if you call it Pharaoh, right? I slipped, right? Pharaoh, Pharaoh, right? Whichever you want to call it, right? But you know, he had to come, right? He had, you know, he had come to live in a strange land, all right? And he had, you know, a beautiful wife. He was worried when he learned that he was married, all right? Okay, they might kill him so that you know they could have Sarah. So what happened instead? He tells everyone that Sarah is just his sister. By saying that Abraham is basically telling everyone that she is single and so is he, all right. So he she's available to another man. That's what he meant. And Abraham, like the leader, right, in this land, 
does just that, right? He takes Sarah into his house to be his wife, right? We learn from the story that, you know, God somehow stepped in and prevented Abimelech from, you know, sleeping with Sarah, right? But what if God had not stepped in? Right? Think about it. Let's think about it. Right? In his life, Abraham basically condemned his wife into committing adultery, okay? He, it, it's kind of, you know, Abraham's fault that Sarah had to do that. Okay, all right. Thankfully, though, God did step in. All right, but just imagine if you didn't, right? What do you think would happen to Father Abraham? All right, but thankfully, right? Thankfully, God did step in. Right, He redeemed the situation by replacing a lie with the truth. Okay, perhaps the most difficult part of his story is to understand that it, at first, right? That was the you know the hardest part. Abimelech seems to reward Abraham for his life. He gives Abraham sheep and goat, right, servants, silver and land. But Abimelech did, all right, did this not for Abraham but for himself, right? By showing generosity, Abimelech asserted his own blamelessness in the situation. I'm sure the gesture, all right, also served, you know, to keep a little, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> all right, okay. So where was that, right? I'm sure the gesture, right, helps serve a little, heap of a little bit of shame, right, to on the already embarrassed Abraham. Okay, you see, lying, all right. Whether you know, I, I remember like when I was younger, right. All I knew was lie, right. I always knew it was one word lie, right. And as I grew up, there's like there are two kinds of lies, if I'm not mistaken. There's a white lie. The other one was, uh, how do you, is it dark lie or black lie or something like that or color? I don't, I'm not sure. All right, but there's another term for it. I just don't know what. Okay, so there's white lies, which are you know the little lies that you know those petty lies that you know you say to your sibling or something like that. Right, you tell someone, uh, where's your, um, where did you hide this? So oh, it's it, I hid it over there but when it's not really not there. All right, those you know little lies. Okay, there's. Those are called white lies, and the, the other was, you know, the deeper lie, all right? Like, where did you bury the body, or something like that, <laughs> all right? I buried it somewhere else, or something like that. You know, those things in the movies, right? But they are still a lie, all right? Whatever happens, it's still a lie, okay? And no one can, you know, no one can erase that fact, all right? Because in God's eyes, a sin is a sin. And same thing, a small lie, a big lie, they're both lies and they're both a sin, alright? But whatever Abraham gained in livestock and money, alright, what he lost was even greater. He lost an ally. Abimelech was the most powerful man in the land, right, that he went to. He could have been a protector, a provider, and a friend to Abraham. Abraham also lost his reputation, okay, by doing this. Instead of seeing, you know, Instead of them seeing Abraham as a man of integrity and strength when Abimelech and his you know, people looked on Abraham, right? They would have, you know, seen an untrustworthy man, right? Motivated by cowardice, right? And we can only imagine what effect this deception had on Abraham and Sarah's marriage. Imagine that, right? It may not be, have been talked about in the Bible, but I'm pretty sure if you, you know, you have a girlfriend right now or you're someone you're in a relationship with right now and you tell them a lie, Alright? That could, you know, lie like this. Alright? Telling, you know, yourself you're single and, you know, telling or telling, you know, your girlfriend is single. Alright? I'm pretty sure, alright, you'd end up in the fight not going your way, man. Alright? You're gonna end up in the fight that, you know, would go in the wrong direction. Alright? That's the kind of lie that Abraham did. All right, and if you do that right now, I'm telling you that it's gonna go the wrong way. So do not do it. All right, stay faithful. All right, so stay stay faithful to you know you're the person you're in a relationship with. Anyways, let's go back. All right, going back, we need to stop you know ranking lies. Okay, into live from you know little to big or harmless or harmful. All right, God deals with truth. God deals with us in truth and integrity, right? He expects us, right? His people, okay, to do the same. All right? We can't just, you know, oh, it's just a little lie. We, we, we let it pass. No. All right? Because as they say, practice makes perfect. All right? The more, you know, you practice your little lies, 
your big lie would no, you know would would deal nothing would right? would have no effect why because it's a little lie you know to you it's basically nothing all right to you it's just uh, someone who you know had the wrong choice of words and decided to go with it all right but no all right god deals with us in truth and integrity and he expects us to do the same all right let us not hide from fear and right? let us speak the truth right number one to our family all right whatever it is that you know you and your family are kind of you know kind of con having a conflict from all right what better way to resolve it than telling them the truth all right if you're hurt by what they said if you're hurt by what they do if you're hurt by you know by the actions or the words of your you know your siblings your parents all right go tell them the truth all right because the truth will not harm you all right Unless you don't want to accept it, right? The truth will not harm you because it's the truth, all right? It will not harm you. Yes, you may get hurt by the truth, all right? But it won't harm you, right? You might get hurt from it, but you won't get harm any harm from it, all right? Truth is always good, all right? Number two, with your friends, all right? You got friends, okay? Number one to keeping, you know, a good, you know, a good friendship is trust, right? Trust between each other, with one another, all right? And, you know, that's where truth plays in, all right? We, we speak truth to our friends because, you know, are we even friends if I don't speak truth to you, all right? Do you know what I mean? Okay? That's, it's as simple as that, all right? Simple as ABC, okay? You teach each other, you know, that speaking the truth will not only, you know, will do, you know, will do both sides good, all right? If someone gets hurt, we say sorry, but it's the truth, all right? Again, you know, things that lie is one of the things that in the world that, you know, it complicates, always, always complicates to something bigger. I believe that, all right? It always complicates to something bigger. You lie about this, it, it's gonna end up somewhere else, right? And it's not gonna end up in a well, in, in, a, in, a, in a good situation, okay? It's gonna end up in a bad situation, all right? Next to your teachers or co-workers or, you know, or, or your classmates, tell them the truth, all right? With in honesty, integrity, and love, all right? Our lies do not protect us or it doesn't protect anyone. Okay, our lies do not keep others from harm, all right? We actually push others for, you know, to harm when we lie. Because it may not be, you know, it may not, you lie about something, you hide, you know, you hide whatever, you know, you hide your friend from getting harmed right now. But in the long run, okay, that's gonna be found, right? That's gonna be found. Someone's gonna find out, all right? Someone's always gonna find out. That's, you know, that's one thing I learned, okay? It's all, someone's always gonna find out whether it's, you know, from the randomest of people, right? Randomest. Okay, from the random people you see on the street, on the road, or to someone close to you, someone will find out, okay? Someone will find out. And I'm telling you that, right? Because, you know, I don't want you to think that your lie will protect you or will protect someone else, all right? Okay, you don't have to speak, you know, lies when you can speak the truth, right? We have a choice, you know, each and every day, you know, to decide what will we do, how will we know, how will we act, what will we say, all right? Let's say the truth, let's speak truth, all right? We need to put our trust in God and let Him see, all right? See us through whatever we face, right? That's, the, that's a whole lot better than trying to navigate a minefield of lies that we laid for ourselves, all right? You see, you know, lying, again, it's just one of the things in the world that just gets into something complicated, into something complex, and it just explodes in your face, right? And you do not want that. You do not want it exploding in your face because it means it's, it's too big already, okay? It's too big, you know, it just explodes in your face and you have nothing to do about it. You can't do anything about it, right? Because 
in the very beginning, it's a lie. It's a lie to begin with, right? So, you know, as we live our lives, right? Let's not, you know, let's, let's, let's train ourselves, right? Let's practice that, you know, we head on to their everyday lives and we know we don't lie. We speak the truth, all right? We speak truth to one another, all right? We speak truth to a friend. We speak truth to our classmate. We speak truth to our family, most especially to your family, all right? Okay, you know, how could we afford to lie to a family, right? Come on, we're family, right? We are a family, okay? Your family, you and your siblings, you and your parents, or maybe someone you consider family, you know what I mean, right? Because, you know, we, we always have these people right, in our lives that they're not just friends, right? We're family already. They're, they're people like that. So how can you, you know, how could you you know, lie about your family, right? That's your family, okay? Same thing, right? That's you and your friends, right? That's you, that's you guys, right? That's me, right? If we are family, we represent one another. Why we have, we, we have literally have the same surname, right? We have the same last name and you know, we represent each other. I'm. We're in the family. We are four. We are six in the family, right? And I'm one sixth of that family. All right. I represent them. Then they represent me. Okay. Same thing. All right. With you and your friends. All right. You represent your friend group. All right. If you're three in the friend group, which is you know as they say, is the best way to have a friend group. Three people. Okay, if you're three, you're one third of that friend group and you represent your friend group, all right? And you know, lies, it's not healthy for you or for the person you're lying to or for the person you're trying to hide from your life, okay? It doesn't help anyone, all right? It doesn't help anyone, whether it's a little lie, whether it's, you know, the littlest of lies or it's the biggest of lies, it doesn't help anyone, okay? So, I hope you guys learned something from tonight. Alright, I hope you guys learned something from tonight. Um, yeah, I, uh, I pray that you guys will be able to, you know, will be able to, to, you know, to get something out of the, these. You, you may not expect, you know, uh, why are we talking about this in the first place? Um, this is not the taboo topic. Well, it is, not, it is, it's just not the usual one, right? Because the usual one would be, you know, drinking or, you know, or doing, <laughs> taking drugs or something like that. It's not the usual one. Okay, this is, you know, these are the actual, you know, the common things that we forget, alright? And in life, you know, complex, people would always want to see complex, alright? But in our lives, you know, simple, the simple things, and if we, once we neglect them, they're, you know, it's gonna go away from us. So, you know, these things, right? Envy, alright? You know, greed lying they're not helping anyone all right so yeah let's um let's pray let's pray god we thank you for tonight we thank you god for an amazing word you have for us god we thank you for reminding us that whatever it is god that whether it be a small lie a big lie it's still a sin lord in front of you and we know that we are doing wrong once we do that so god we are sorry for whatever lie we have said whatever lie we have done God, I speak that you forgive us, Lord, and may we continue to live our lives, God, in your righteous path, Lord. And may we continue to walk our Christian life, our, li our lives, God, in your ways, God. We thank God for everything that we have learned tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay. Uh, God bless you guys. Thanks for coming in. All right. Thanks for coming in. And we hope to see you next Friday, all right, which will be the last one. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. All right? We hope you guys be able to be uh to we hope that you you'll be able to be there right so peace thank you guys for coming bye ciao hey guys it's me christian and uh thanks for staying tuned for tonight's fuel night i know the message was very deep and um yeah we're Apparently, um, we are all growing up and we have to mature and, you know, I gotta say a spoiler, we are gonna get deeper and deeper into adulthood, alright? We're gonna be preparing each other.
for adulthood. And um, yeah, everything we've done here is um, really all for you guys. And so um, don't forget, there's a Sunday service upcoming up. Uh, I just said upcoming up. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, we have uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, subscribe, like the pages, and uh, give us a follow. Uh, we also have TikTok, and I'm not really the great TikTok. You know, I don't do the dances. Apparently, Seki is the best one of us. So, uh, yeah. If you guys uh, want uh, Seki to do anything in our TikToks or like any of us uh, do a TikTok, uh, hit us up, uh, say something in the comments like you guys want us to do the Renegade all together or something like that. But <laughs> yeah, so um, see you guys next week and uh, next month for me. Alright, so uh, bye!